Well, it's a beautiful, beautiful day here in southern Colorado. Um, just got a new computer, so I'm going to make a whole bunch of clips on a bunch of different projects that I'm doing. And uh, so I can put them together and, and edit with them because my old computer wouldn't edit. It uh, was a 2010 model and it just would freeze every time I tried to do anything with it. So I'm going to play around with it and build some clips and show uh, a bunch of different little projects that I'm working on and uh, give an update on the stove. So I hope you enjoy it. So this little pump has been running pretty consistently for... Yeah, it's running for about a week now. Um, I'm not having any problems. I might buy two more just uh, as backups and have them sitting there. Uh, my solar system, beginning of my solar system, these are uh, solar batteries and I've got an inverter in the house and this spring I'm going to uh, pick up a uh, couple of panels and small windmills at which point I will have a complete system. I wanted to build it at least around enough to keep the house warm and, and keep my plants growing. It's been uh, oh, a couple weeks since I put the stove in and it's uh, running really good. Our, our nighttime temperatures are in the, the single digits, 8, 10 degrees, teens sometimes, and the days are, are barely getting above freezing. So um, it is it is working quite well. It takes a little time to get the heat up. It's been running for five hours now and and it's sitting at about 84 degrees on the water temperature that's getting pumped out and into the floor. And I haven't even looked at the thermostat. Thermostat is uh, 65, 66 degrees. It's, it's quite comfortable. I wake up in the morning and uh, it's in the 50s, low 50s sometimes. It takes an hour or so to get it up into the 60s. And... And 60s are really quite comfortable. I end up uh, wearing my t-shirt and my sandals when it's hitting 61, 62. So, uh, 70 degrees is way too hot in here with, the, with this system, the way it's set up. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased. Last week, I finished taping the bathroom and getting the, uh, the joints all smoothed out. So... Uh, another topping coat and some sanding and I'll be ready to do some painting and putting on some tile and uh, this week I'm going to work on the the shower flange and put in the shower panel or shower pan and uh, the toilet flange at that point um, I'm hoping to be able to uh, be putting in ceramic tile hopefully by Christmas I would love to be doing tile by Christmas I'm going to have a little pedestal bathroom sink sitting right here and a mirror. Another project I'm going to work on this winter is uh, these. These are old shelves that have been sitting outside for a couple of years and uh, I'm going to build some beehive bases out of them so I can catch some beehives next spring. I'm hoping to put in some fruit trees and uh, so having some beehives would be very useful. Anyone who knows me knows I'm addicted to sugar so Anything, if I don't have to pay for it, I'm much happier that way. I, I used to have beehives when I was younger, um, when the girls were little. and I remember being able to go out and, and, and get fresh honey on Saturday mornings and put it on pancakes and just eat it. So I'm uh, fairly excited about this one as well. This is another project I'm working on. This is a, uh, a worm box. And uh, you put your kitchen waste in there and everything from your salads and and stuff and uh, the worms would eat it up and then uh, you clean it out uh, every once in a while for worm castings. It's about four feet long, about 18 to 20 inches tall. It's all made out of two by two inch lumber so it's really thick. I've been using it for about four or five years outside in the summertime but then it gets cold and I, everything freezes up. But, but this year because of the stove uh, I'm going to be able to keep them going through the winter. Um, I, I can get about $150 worth of worm castings every four months out of that. So that translates to uh, a, a good savings on my fertilizer. Um, I mix it into my pot plants. I'm a big organic gardener. And, uh, and so, yeah, we'll uh, keep you posted on that at some point, probably in about 
four or five months I'll be uh, gathering uh, and harvesting uh, fertilizer from it. Well, I guess this is it. This is a concluding clip. Um, I got about five little clips put together so I get to play around with my computer and see if I can't get it to edit a little bit. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to get back to work a little bit, clean up on here and, and get something done this week.